free for you. And we've got another tutorial for you here today. It's uh, how to use optical flow in Final Cut Pro X. First of all, real quick, sorry we haven't gotten a lot of tutorials out lately. We've been pretty busy, we've been getting some scripts together for some skits, and two-thirds of our entire studio crew got sick. There's three of us, and two of us got sick, so that's three-thirds. Two-thirds. Math. And baseball season, too, so go cards. So anyway, here's what we're going to be making today. It's Optical Flow and Final Cut Pro X. Anyway, it's a neat way of slowing down your footage. It gives it a, um, it's more fluid than, um, regular slow motion by just retiming it. But if you did notice here, you'll get the, um, you'll get a little bit of, um, looks like you're walking through water. That's because Final Cut Pro X, when you're doing this, is guessing where the next frame is going to be. It's creating new frames for you, so it can't guess it perfectly, and you'll get a little bit of, uh, some clips will give you a little bit of, uh, watery motion. But anyway, to uh, to do this, I'm going to go ahead and take off, so reset my clip for you. Normal, alright. So this is my original clip here. And now what I'm going to do is, I'm going to hit Command R, and that brings up the retiming. Now you see if you click here on this, um, your stick with a little arrow around it, and you come down to video quality, I've already got optical flow chosen, but if you haven't retimed it yet or anything, this will be grayed out. And you, here's what you have to do to get it to show up. Command R, you go ahead and drag this out. I'm going to drag it. You come under video quality. I'll choose normal. This is how it looks. The regular slow motion. And you see that kind of it, it kind of ruins the effect of the slow motion because it's just chopping out some frames. It's just stretching the length of the frames out. And if you had a camera that shot like under the clip, and if you play it through, you can see it's a lot it's a lot more fluid, especially if you don't have a lot of motion in it and you just want to get a slow slow-mo of someone walking. And this the smaller an object is, the less of the watery effect you're gonna see from it. So it's good for far off, far off shots and stuff like that. Now, you turn up some music, you find some good music to go with it for an effect. And, and there you go, that's Optical Flow and Final Cut Pro X. And remember, if you've got any tutorials that you'd like to request, check out our site and post a comment there, asking us what, you'd, what tutorial you'd like to see us make next, and we'll see what we can do for you.